Yeah, one of the best holidays is right around the corner, and Lauren McDonald is getting into the Halloween spirit this morning. Lauren? Hey guys, yeah, Halloween is expensive, and whether you're looking to go all out or looking to save, we have got some tips for you. Plus, uh, makeup artist is here, and he is going to give me a spooky new look. That's coming up after the break. You forgot, I'm right. The cookie cutter Halloween costume when you can create your own with just a little makeup. Yeah, Laura McDonald now is getting in this, uh, well, she's in the hot seat this morning <laughs> for sure. Uh, live and local right now with a makeup artist in there. Going to create a look that's sure to spook you this morning. Lauren, what's going on? Good morning, guys. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I guess I'm going to be transformed into a zombie a little bit later. Yes, ma'am. So that should be interesting. Uh, it'll be fun to watch for sure. We're going to do that throughout the whole morning. But uh, first, we want to talk about Halloween. We were talking earlier, eight billion dollars already spent this year on Halloween makeup. Uh, Mike and Connor both from Ghoul's Gulch and you're a makeup artist. Yes. Now there's a lot of ways people can go out and they can spend a lot of money. We saw $800, $600 they can spend on masks, but then there's also ways that they can save. So let's talk about some of the ways they can save first. Absolutely. Your best resource right now is probably just online. There's tons of tutorials out there. TV shows like Face Off will give even an amateur an idea of things that you can do. Um, but again, your best resource is go online, kind of Google what you're looking for, and you'll get some easy tips. Right, just like makeup tips, people mm -hmm. people look for those, and you can find Halloween tips. And if if somebody doesn't have access to that, you are a professional, so you give us some tips of just last minute costumes that that people can do. So last minute costumes and makeup that people can do is really just to take any type of costume that you have and scrunch it up a bit, and make it off kilter to where it's just different enough, and then. Just to do simple makeup tips, some cuts, some little tiny bruises and things and such, but not anything too drastic. Not too drastic. So where can people get makeup like this? And by the way, guys, this makeup smells so good. Um, where, do, where do people actually, buy Actually, the Halloween stores this year actually have an amazing selection themselves. Even stores like Walmart have a pretty good collection. Um, you could also check if you have a local theater um, shop. Um, they'll have a wide selection. Definitely. Well, this stuff is going to be all over my face. Uh, so, guys, hopefully by the end of the morning, you will not be able to recognize me because that's the goal, right? They're going to turn me into a monster. <laughs> okay. We're going to see the transformation all morning. I'm I looking forward that. to it, yeah. <laughs> all right, she's going to turn right in front of our eyes. Yeah, Lauren, thanks. Thanks. For those of you just joining us here. A transformation as we speak. Is there anything else you want to cover? Hey, guys, yeah, good morning. Uh, I am not looking yet but after the break we're gonna have an update on what is going on here stay with us you're scared of nightmares look away today we're getting a behind the scenes look at Halloween horror makeup right now Lauren is live and local in the newsroom uh, morphing into a monster right before our eyes now Lauren if that's still you good morning. It, is, it is still me hello good morning how do I look am I looking sharp yeah, I have not seen myself yet, actually. I'm going to wait until the very end of the morning to take a peek, so that should be a shocker. Now, I am with Mike and Connor from Ghoul's Gulch uh, right here in Colorado Springs, and they are making me into a monster this morning, and you have done some depth thing on my face. Yes, so I have. So explain what that is. So depth thing is the act of taking away anything that's living. So it's taking your face and taking everything that makes it bright and perky and basically sinking that back. So it's just highlighting all the bone structure and sinking it in. Making me look dead. Exactly. In other words. And this takes a lot of research. It's not just something that you, I mean, you're self-taught, but you've done a lot of research to see how dead people look so that you can make other people look dead. Yeah. I've spent hours and hours looking at photos of people anywhere from an hour after they're dead to two weeks so it really just depends on the look I'm going for. Yeah. Does that ever get depressing? <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Okay, now guys, uh, not only are we transforming my face and check out my arms too. They're, they're going all out. We do not play around here. Um, they're just transforming me into a monster. I'm really excited about that. But also, uh, they asked me to pick up a dress 
and you might can kind of explain what you guys are going to do with this. So we're going to do some distressing. Uh, zombie outfits are really easy to make. So with distressing, we got to take the new clothes since zombies are crawling around and distress it. You, simple things you can use. This is actually a roughing tool. You could use sandpaper, steel brush. You could take it out on concrete, just rub it around. And then with the staining, because they're crawling around the dirt, you could use things like coffees, teas for liquids. And then you can even use things like crayons, any kind of dark powders, just rub it in there to create that grimy look. You know, I could I create that grimy look pretty much every day after I eat. Uh, so all I need And that's is things you want to focus on. You want to look at where's the clothes going to be distressed. They're going to be torn everywhere. They're going to be torn around the sleeves where they're crawling out. The blood and guts is all going to be right here when you're eating and munching on the hearts right. and the brains and all that stuff. Yeah. So you want to kind of put it where it actually belongs. Love it, love it. And a good place to get stuff like this is Goodwill. You don't have to spend a lot of money on a costume to get a great look. Thrift shops are absolutely fantastic. You can actually get some vintage stuff too. Awesome. Awesome tips. All right, guys. Well, we're going to uh, do another step. What's the next step? The next step is we're adding your color. Adding my color. So that's coming up a little bit later. So uh, we'll check in back then. Hey, that guy needs to calm down. <laughs> yeah. He is out of control. Right. Eating yeah. guts. Yummy. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Lauren. All right. It is really me, guys. Yeah, a little Halloween makeup goes a long way. Coming up, tips to help you take your costume to the next level. Welcome back. Time now is 724. Ghosts, ghouls, and goblins, have you decided on a Halloween costume well, yet? Well, if not, yeah, oh yeah, we have some tips for you. And right now, she's not who we thought she was, <laughs> but the zombie in the making known as Lauren is live and local now in the newsroom with a professional makeup artist creating that spooktacular look. Lauren? Spooktacular, more like spectacular. I think I'm looking uh, too hot to trot <laughs> this morning. Uh, I'm with Connor and Mike from Ghoul's Gulch, and you guys are transforming me into a zombie. And by the end of the morning, hopefully you seriously will not be able to recognize me. Now, Connor, you've just done the next step, so explain what that is. So I've just went in, added detail. This is what's going to not only make you look dead, but it's going to be the base for your overall look. So nice, nice, nice. I've just added some color and just some lines for detail so far. Right, and you told me that uh, I'm going to have a hard time taking this off, so I wish I could just leave it for Halloween because I feel like it's going to be a great costume by the end of the morning. Now, uh, let's talk about the makeup and the different types because there are a ton of different types of makeup that you've been using. Oh yeah, there's, there's tons of makeup that you can get your hands on. I mean, you can use anything from cheap palettes at Walmart to cheap squeeze tubes of makeup. Um, it really doesn't matter. Um, but cream-based makeup, um, like I have here from Ben Nye, um, is something I've just been using for the detail on her so far. Um, and then these Encore palettes, these are alcohol makeup palettes. Right, and they smell really good. They smell wonderful. Um, that's because the alcohol is pretty harsh to work with, um, but these are great for coverage makeup. Right. So, so it's like a foundation. Yep. Except yep. Colorful foundation. Now there's also uh, you see the scars in the it's prosthetic makeup. So there's prosthetics and there's appliances. So if you want to do a witch makeup, what they'll actually have is a little kit. So it'll have your chin, will have your nose with the warts, and you just um, basically you'll be gluing it onto different parts of your body, and then you'll blend the makeup in. And like you're talking about the scars, they have scars. They'll have gashes for your neck with you know bloodline drips, and then you just blend that in. So it adds a lot of detail really quick, fairly simple, and then you just got to blend the colors and the makeup in after. That. Right, and a, a secret tip that you told me about, you can actually take tissue and glue. That's some of the cheapest ways. I mean, if that'll give you a, a working texture and you can build it up to create something you want. Or like if you're a your kid and you put the glue in the palm of your hand, roll that up, now you got some skin to work with. Mm -hmm. You can create, you know, peel that back. Like peel it back. Or you tore it back. Love it. So it that's a way, another way to save if mm -hmm. you really want to uh, go all out and get your, your full Halloween costume going. And uh, guys, just a reminder, I have not peeked at myself yet, so I am waiting uh, for the big reveal at the end of the morning, so super excited about that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Cheap and easy ways to look dead this morning. That's <laughs> yeah, just lack of sleep. That, that wouldn't just right. do it. No. Dark yeah. circles under the eyes. <laughs> All Good right. tips. Lauren, thanks. <laughs> All right. It is
Welcome back. 742 and this morning we are taking you behind the scenes of haunting Halloween makeup. Lauren is live and local now in the newsroom this morning getting a makeover herself or maybe a make under. Good morning. Yes. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah, I would say make under is probably right. But again, I haven't seen myself, so I could be looking like a million bucks. Who knows? Um, I am with Connor Blair. He is a local makeup artist here in Colorado Springs. You do a lot with Bulls Gulch. How did you get started doing professional makeup? Uh, I got started with the Gulch, actually. Um, I found a passion for it there, and I just never really found anything else that I loved as much. So Right, and it's not just Halloween makeup that you do, though. You do all kinds of oh, other stuff. Oh, I do all kinds of makeup. I've done beauty makeup. I do movie makeup now. Um, I do a lot of my own, like, creature-based makeup. Right. Um, it really just depends on what it calls for and What's if it feeling? interests me. Yeah. Now, uh, you are self-taught, completely self-taught, so how, how did you teach yourself? Uh, a, a lot of it was YouTube, um, and then a lot of it was just like going and like learning about rigor mortis and like what happens to a body after it's been sitting out for like a few days or a few hours or right. a few weeks even. Yeah. And then to see like what that process actually does on the body. And then another weird thing is to like go and look up diseases. Any types of like diseases, whether it's like anthrax or just anything that's contagious and that you think of and you're like, oh, that's a harmful, like, deadly disease. Yeah. Like, I want to replicate that as a makeup for the haunted house. Like, right. that's what Why I think not, of. You know? so. uh, you've got a very creative mind, I must say. Now, i got to ask, for this Halloween season, what is the most popular character that you've seen? Uh, as far as in the haunts? Just, like, in general, this year, what do you think is the one of the more popular costumes? Deadpool. Okay. Deadpool is definitely one of the more popular, like, I guess, like, fan costumes. Right. And then I've seen a lot of really specified zombie makeups this year. Mm -hmm. Not anything, like, in particular, like, about zombies. Just a lot of people are doing some really highly detailed zombie makeups out there right Kinda now. Kind of like what you're doing this morning. Kind of, yeah. With me, yeah. So, and you said that is actually a lot of work. When you don't know exact, it doesn't have a title, it doesn't have a name, you just kind of have to create a look yep. that it looks dead. So, yep. definitely... That can definitely be some of the biggest challenge, for sure, right. is going to a set and being like, okay, I don't know what to expect, and everyone's like, all right, you got to do this. Yeah, exactly. Like, okay. But then I bet it's very rewarding when you're able to produce oh, yeah. something super creative. So uh, I just got the powder done. We are not done yet, though. Uh, there's much more, and hopefully I will be completely transformed. Uh, but what do you guys think? Do I look good? Well, Lauren, we'd love to see you closer up. Can they please zoom <laughs> closer in? Closer up? You yeah. want me to come in please. here? You no, want me to come no. to the camera? <laughs> no, have, have them zoom into your face so we can see the detail. Yeah. The and, detail. And, and they want to see the detail, we Connor. Want, we want to see how he applies the makeup to you so we can see what's going on, how, how, how to do it. I will let him know. We will yeah. have that next. All right, That'll be great. Good. Thank you. Thanks. All right, for those of you morning. Yeah, guys, good morning. We are talking Halloween makeup, and we have got some tips that are going to make you the belle of your Halloween ball. That's coming up after the break. Will only be the belle of a zombie ball right there, <laughs> the way she looks. But looking great, Lauren. So, uh, we the Pepsi Center on Saturday. Saturday. It's yeah. going to be good. All right, it's 818. With just a little makeup, you can transform your Halloween costume from ordinary to extraordinary. And right now, Lauren is live in the newsroom, changing her look with a little help. <laughs> Lauren, good morning. Good morning, yeah. Uh, dead, infected, bruised, those are all words that I've heard to describe what's going on here this morning. So yeah, looking forward to checking it out in a little bit. I am with Connor and Tia and Corinne from Ghoul's Gulch, and you guys are all perfect professional makeup artists. And Connor, kind of explain the process that's happening right now. It feels like I'm peeling. So you are kind of peeling, yeah. actually. Um, what we've just done is we've laid down a layer of zombie skin. This is a latex. This is a professional-based latex, though, so it's colored and it dries in about three minutes. Right. As opposed to normal latex, which takes about 10 to 15. Definitely. And um, what they've gone and done with the latex is they've added texture to it. Um, because of the latex and how it is, it's very, very easy to work with you on the just, skin. You can just yank it off. It's cool. And um, it's very easy to color. It's very easy to 
add more paint to, so it's a nice tool for haunters. Definitely, and you have a lot of other stuff. There are so many steps involved this morning, so kind of go through the process of how you started and so what we still have left. We started with all your depthing first, and that was just taking all of your basically bone structures and sinking them back and um, giving you a little highlight below that to make them look um, as though they were sunken back a bit further to make you look like you were dead. Right. And then from there... Which is the whole point. <laughs> yes. <laughs> from there, we went into adding your detail lining. Now, that's everything like these lines here on your lips mm -hmm. um, and even with the yellow up here on the top of your brow, that's just to create a lighter skin tone and to make your skin really pop out. And uh, after that, we went and added your color. Right. Now we're at the latex stage. The latex stage, and still to come, there it's going to get a little bloody in here. Yes, it's definitely no going to get a little now. bloody. So uh, the blood. Explain the blood. So the blood is actually a Hollywood tool. Hollywood tool. Um, blood recipes have not changed much in the past 60 years in Hollywood. Um, a lot of them are still based off of caro corn syrup and red food coloring. And so that's, you can eat it. Yeah, that's all nice. this is. So this is an actor safe blood. So, so when it's around your mouth, you're not going to get, it's not bad for you, it's not poisonous, nope. it's nope. just uh, jelly almost. Yep. All right, sounds good. Well, I'm looking forward to tasting that. And uh, folks, I got to tell you, people are starting to filter into the office, and I keep getting some crazy looks as they walk by. So uh, I'm really excited to see how this all looks. And honestly, it's very relaxing. I mean, I feel like I've been pampered all morning. Yeah. It's like a day at the spa, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I the arms and everything. I love watching them peel your face. Yeah. Though. It's nice, yeah. right? All right, <laughs> Lauren, thanks. All right, speaking of Halloween, if you're looking for a safe room. Well, it may be as easy as a little bit of makeup, and here's Lauren right now with an update on her creepy transformation. Lauren? Good morning, guys. Yeah, winning a Halloween costume contest might be easier than you think. We've got fake blood in my big reveal that's coming up after the break. All right, welcome back. It is now 841. Why buy a cookie cutter Halloween costume when you can create your own with just some makeup? Well, Lauren's in the hot Pretty seat good. this morning and uh, with a local makeup artist as well. And <laughs> they've created now this uh, look that's sure to spook you. Lauren, let's have the big reveal. This is the big reveal. I still have not seen it yet. I'm really excited. Things got a little messy during the break, but uh, we are having such a great time. You guys have been out here all morning, Mike and Connor from Ghoul's Gulch, and we are just transforming me into a zombie. It's complete. So the look is complete. You have just put the blood on me. It's edible. Mm -hmm. And you guys use this at Ghoul's Gulch. Mm -hmm. And you do 50 to 100 actors a day. Yep, depending when on it's the running. day. So what time do you have to get to work to start? Uh, I usually get there around 4, 3 o'clock, depending. Okay, and uh, the event is the two haunted houses. They're open through the end of the month. We're open this week, Thursday through Sunday. You can get all the information on goalsgulch.com. All right, well, guys, I think it's time to take a look at myself here. We found a mirror. We're going to break the mirror, just a warning. <laughs> oh, wow. <Break> the mirror. <laughs> you know, honestly, it looks like it's kind of good. Like... It doesn't look like, I don't look like a creep, I feel You're like. You're a pretty zombie. Yeah, I feel like it, <laughs> nice you guys did a great job. Nice Thank eyes. you so much. I will say, though, I'm going to need a lot of shampoo. And how do I get this off again? A lot of Barbershop. conditioner. A lot of conditioner. Wait, what is it? Shaving cream. Shaving oh. cream to get this off. So Serious? that's a good tip. Yeah. yeah. All right, I want you to walk like a zombie now. I mean, yeah, you, you I need don't to. Know. Is that how you do you it? Because you got to put it all together, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and like we mentioned, this is so... People spend so much money on Halloween these days, mm -hmm. but this is so affordable. This dress, yep. I think it was like 15 bucks, and you guys just we distressed it a little it up. bit, just roughed up some of the edges, added some coloring, the blood from where you've been slobbering. Yeah, I've just been slobbering all morning, and um, yeah, the hair was super easy, and I mean the makeup, it it's high tech makeup, but you can also buy this like at Walmart mm -hmm. and uh, just create a look for a look for less, yeah. if you will. You don't need to spend eight billion dollars, guys, on Halloween. You can just do it yourselves at home. DIY, right? Hey, yeah, that's for sure. Just have fun hey, with it. Can we uh, help pick off your face when you come to the meeting? <laughs> Please, I'm gonna <laughs> need some help because I don't. You know what? I'm thinking about the drive home. How that's gonna go <laughs> that's when so I cut, cool. go to a stoplight? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, Lauren. That was fun this morning. Thanks.